Now to the investigation into the power abuse scandal that's led to the president's pending impeachment. After weeks of will he or won't he, Prime Minister and acting President Huang Yuan has rejected the independent council's request for a 30-day extension of its probe, which will expire on Tuesday. The investigators have called the decision regrettable. Our Huang Hojun gives us the latest. After much deliberation, the acting president has decided that it would be best for the nation's stability to not extend the special investigation and for the prosecution to take over. His decision came on Monday, just a day before the initial investigation period expires. Prime Minister and Acting President Huang Yuan rejected the Independent Council's request for a 30-day extension of its probe into the massive power abuse scandal. Huang was quoted as saying the investigation could influence the next presidential election, which could happen around May if the Constitutional Court upholds the impeachment motion against President Park Geun-hye. The Prime Minister's office added that Parliament has the power to launch a follow-up independent council if deemed necessary. The independent council team now has to wrap up its 70-day investigation on Tuesday and hand the case back to the prosecutor's office, leaving only a skeleton staff of its own to indict the suspects. The council will decide by tomorrow whether to indict a list of at least 10 suspects, including Choi Sun shil the woman at the center of the scandal, and Samsung Electronics Vice Chairman Lee Jae-yong. The independent council team spokesperson clearly expressed the team's disappointment. It's regrettable the team wasn't able to execute the search warrant on the presidential office, which had been legally obtained by the court and wasn't able to carry out the face-to-face -face questioning with the president. The spokesperson blamed the presidential office for the failed attempts, saying efforts by the independent council office were blocked by presidential staff. Disappointed though the independent council team may be, its spokesperson vowed the investigators will continue to do their best in the time they have, saying the probe has been carried out according to the law and principles. The results of the investigation are expected to be made public by the end of the week. Huang Wujun, Arirang News.